Well, Brain Sex is a show about the differences between men and women and is it because our brains are different? Brain Sex, the show, started out from two things. One of them was that about four or five years ago, I did a debate, a public event at the Battle of Ideas uh, about brain science and sex and do men and women have different brains? And that was such an interesting debate between brain scientists and others and I did a lot of reading, did a lot of research and I became really fascinated and also on a much more frivolous level my mum always says to me oh you think just like a man and so I thought well does that really mean anything is there such a thing as a male brain so let's do a show about it so that's what this show is you should definitely enter FameLab if you are any kind of scientist or engineer or mathematician or anything in that field at all because the worst thing that will happen is you will be put under a little bit of pressure to produce a three minute presentation that would work for an audience of ordinary people and that is a great deadline to set yourself and you will do that and then you will get feedback from really great judges who are experts in science and science communication and the media and they will give you really specific personal feedback on what works well for you, what you did well and what you could work on. And it's not it's really not like strictly come dancing or X Factor. The judges are on your side because they want everybody to get better at this. The best thing that could happen if you enter Fame Lab is that you you are triumph in your heat and you learn from all the feedback and you get better and better and then you get into the national UK final which means you get a weekend masterclass training from really fantastic trainers and then you go on and enter the national final and loads of people come and see you and see how brilliant you are and then you win and you're carried shoulder high around the nation in fact around the whole world the British Council tour you around the world to show off you as the best possible example of British science and technology that's that's only a slight exaggeration the shoulder high thing won't necessarily happen but all the rest of the stuff including being sent around the world that will definitely happen